My name is Sean Flaherty, and this is my presentation on the potato. The potato originates from the Andes Mountains about 8,000 years ago. In the 13th century, it was introduced to Europe, and then it was reintroduced back to North America in the 14th and 15th centuries. Today, it is also the fourth most important crop. It is notable because it is simple to grow, it comes in many colors and sizes, it's used in food, spirits, it's nutritious, it lasts a long time, they're plentiful, and you can grow them about anywhere. Today, there are about 4,000 varieties of potatoes, and they can grow at an elevation of 0 to 4,700 meters above sea level. There are russet potatoes, yellow, white, red, purple, blue, fingerling, new potatoes, Yukon gold, Kennebec, German butterball, yam, and most controversially, the sweet potato. In one 38-gram potato, there are 22 calories, 5 grams of carbs, 1 gram of protein, and zero fat, cholesterol, and sugar, as well as a plethora of vitamins. All right, now, why potatoes? Well, I think that potatoes are the best vegetables due to their extreme versatility, ability to grow in most climates, and consistent taste that can be incorporated into any dish. Potatoes can be baked, fried, mashed, squeezed, boiled, microwaved, sliced, grilled, hashed, grated, skinned, smoked, and can be found in hundreds of different dishes in hundreds of different cultures and geographical regions, ranging from appetizers, main courses, desserts, and most interestingly, drinks. Here is a diagram of the amount of things you can do with a potato. My personal favorites are mashed potatoes, baked potatoes, and fries. However, what you see here are only examples of what a single potato can do. My other favorite dishes are potatoes with roasted garlic, scalloped potatoes, chowder, and vodka, which is also made by taking potato starch and distilling it. Thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something about the potato and have gained some more respect for it.